My name is Colleen Deal. I am the Interlibrary Loan and Collection Management Librarian. About two years ago, when I started working here, I started getting questions related to Bemidji State's history because I am in charge of the university's archives, but on top of that, the centennial of BSU, the 100 years of BSU, was coming up. And when I started looking into the university's archives, I started thinking about um, what type of truth are we telling with the artifacts that we did decide to save over the years of BSU, and what type of truth are we leaving out because of the materials that we decided not to save um, in the university's history. So I wanted to start to critically examine what the archive holds and what it's leaving out. The idea that um, when we tell the story of the last 100 years of BSU, that doesn't mean we're telling the story of Bemidji State. We are telling a story, and we're telling the story that we're able to tell, but there are stories that we are leaving out, intentionally or unintentionally, of people who did go to school here. I'm kind of hoping to describe three different things during my talk. I'm going to provide a very quick history of the archives as a profession, because I think that is something that, to me, obviously is really interesting. And then I'm going to move on and speak a little bit about what contemporary archival theory is. Um, and then the third thing I want to do is bring in actual artifacts from the university's archives, materials that are not necessarily seen typically by the general public, and show them off and have people kind of look at them, maybe touch them, um, because that's a neat thing. And um, it kind of We'll kind of have a, hopefully a discussion within the lecture at the end um, to kind of correlate what I've talked about and then the physical objects and what that, what that kind of means. So here are some of the archives that I think are very unique or interesting related to BSU's history. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is President Decker's medallion, which was um, formed in 1969. Um, the reason why I say formed or forged is because it is uh, created by a, a visiting artist and the medallion itself is unusual to say the least. Here is, for example, a Bemidji State letterman's jacket. And I don't have an exact date for this, but um, I'm guessing it, it was created in the 1950s. and. Um, Beautiful leather sleeves. <laughs> I just really like how apparently Letterman's jackets really haven't changed over the past. I mean, I had one look like this back in like the 2000s, kind of. <laughs> so um, it's kind of neat to think that students, what they're wearing today is not too different from what they used to wear. This is a textbook that students used to use. This one is from 1950, and it is titled The uh, Writer's Guide and Index to English. Each student who came to Bemidji State Teachers College, which is what it was called at the time, this is what they had to purchase at the bookstore and use. Every student uh, at the beginning of the year would be given a beaver brief, and it basically introduced students to their school year. And finally, one of my favorite uh, artifacts that tells a great story of our past is th these caps. What I want is to inspire students to potentially create their own archives of BSU so that we have more stories of BSU in the future.